Welcome Kingsmen back to another Napoleon Total War 3 battle. Now I found this one on the Napoleon Total War 3 Lords Discord. It was submitted by one Nate, the Nate Devourer. I've actually seen one of his replays before and they have some really good battles. This one is a Peninsular Spanish theme battle. We have, I believe, three um, Spanish cores and then a Peninsular UK faction. And guys, if you look at the mini-map, there are some guerrilla units placed. I'm doing slow motion because I don't want to catch whatever may be, oh gosh, <laughs> whatever may be going down right here. Um, although th these are some cav from uh, Spain. And guys, look at this positioning. See the points on the board? There are three points here and two points there. They have already set, let me just do regular speed. They've already set some units over here to kind of guard this choke point so they can rush their men up. Now, I don't want to catch, I don't want to miss anything because these cab are going to play a, a these, guy, these guys could play a crucial role in this battle as they could, uh, you know, fast moving cab, hit a general, hit some cannon, hit infantry, and they can see, they can see a lot. Now, on this side, you can see that we have a lot of French. Now, forgive my lack of knowledge too much of the server, but it looks like these are going to be French corps. So I have, no, you have, no, just the Grand Armée. So I believe that is a, a core. If not, you can yell at me in the comments once again, which is going to happen for a while. So, you know, get used to it. <laughs> There's two things you can guarantee when you watch Kingston do in Napoleon Total War 3 replay. Going to mix factions up, going to mispronounce factions. That is just a given. Now, the UK, I don't want to miss this. That's why I'm kind of hovering over there. The UK is bringing, of course, a very Spanish-themed army. Um, they have a lot of uh, good cab, actually. Some really decent cab. They, they have a bunch of uh, dragoons, lighter cab. Then you have some heavier um, dragoon guards. Prince of Wales own um, a lot of... Decent infantry, you know, a lot of sp Spanish. I think most of their lights are Spanish. But uh, as you can see, they're pushing up over here. They're getting that one-pointer, and they're going to be on the defensive, and France is definitely going to be attacking. Now, this general, I hope, is not going up by himself because that is going to be a major snipe if this cav can hit this general. And even if nothing, I mean, they're spotting a ton. I mean, oh, now they see generals, which is very interesting. Okay, here's some cav. I think they see him. Because, I mean, judging by the fact that they are running away. Now, the, the French are bringing Dragoons, Chasseurs, of course, you know. French bringing the, the heavy punching cab. But, uh, so it looks like the plan isn't to really push on these two points. It's to push here and maybe go across. I don't know. Um, but Spain is pushing across using this road. Kind of, I think, maybe going for this two-pointer. Um, which, there's not a building, I don't think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there's no building here. So, I think you just have to control the majority of the area. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, here's other Spanish, one of the other Spanish players. Bring in some, mostly it looks like line infantry. Of course, you have to have a little bit of that light infantry as well. Overall, a very decently compiled army. I'm trying to see what kind of artillery they got. We'll see as things develop. Now, of course, I love the UK, if you know that. They are bringing some six-pounders and then nine-pounders. And it would appear that the gorillas got seen. So they are falling back. This battle may take a little bit to develop. I think, I hope that the fight rages over here because this is an awesome open field with just trees kind of forcing the natural choke points if you don't want to push through the forest because that does slow things down. They aren't doing a whole lot here. They're still waiting to see if France decides to push on this flank. If not, then they can just push across. But this is an excellent choke point, and these gorillas, I think they should do a decent job. I mean, they're, they're high in number, which kind of makes me think they're not as good in uh, quality. So France is starting to push through. They're trying to see if they can't get a look-see at this army over here. Still haven't really seen anybody deciding. I think, actually, well, 
besides these two French armies definitely converging on this two-pointer. I think that's what they're doing. They have this one point and this one point in the bag. They just gotta run a guy back. So they have both of these one points and they technically have this one point. It's right here. So here comes France though. France is pushing through the trees. They got a lot of cav here. They have some hussars, some dragoons. Yeah, dragoons and hussars pushing through here. Light cav trying to scout things up. Now, I know Spanish cav is not the greatest. Um, <laughs> in stats, you just gotta hope they have numbers, you know, because numbers eventually will win against quality. It just, they just gotta catch these guys as they're trying to push up. Maybe. I mean, they have the numbers, but is it enough? It looks like, man, these guys are getting really aggressive over here. Nothing over on this side yet, but it looks like, okay, the numbers are starting to equal out. So, uh, France has almost the equal amount as uh, Spain does. So this is going to be very interesting to see who wins this cab engagement. Because um, depending on who wins, that is going to give them a massive bonus. Now, technically, I think these guys have the two-pointer. They're over by this two-pointer, which is this hill. But the thing is, they're not going to see infantry from, uh, you know, from, <laughs> from France pushing through these trees, I don't think. So that will be a massive surprise if France just pops out with, like, a massive line. Still squaring up, going to face off against F Spain. Now, I'd probably, being a newer player, I'd probably feel pretty cocky going up against Spanish Cav because I've, I've always seen Spanish Cav do terribly. If you saw my video yesterday, I saw a unit of 16 heavy Russian Cav that were tired take on a fresh unit of Spanish Cav, and they beat the Spanish Cav. Um, but it looks like, it looks like Spain is not backing down. They are pushing up. Maybe they're calling their bluff. I don't know. They do have some decent heavier cav. Um, then a lot more light cav, especially on this one flank. This is a lot more. Oh, so France is going to commit with some dragoons as well as some chasseur, cheval, hussars, lancers going in. And Spain is going to probably have to try something here. I mean, ooh, this is some. This is a heavier cav. It looks like. They're going to be running in as a massive cav engagement is about to pop off, guys. Look at this. This is going to be bad for Spain. Spain is going to have to commit something or lose like two cav units. Use your numbers. There we go. So they're pushing up with numbers. They're going to counter charge. Oh, man. There's so much. Everybody's just like, okay. They're, they get, these guys are going to get hit. Oh, man. Look at this massive cav engagement, guys. Look at this. So these guys are hit in the back, but they're going to run. Only a couple cav are dying. Um, no, still nothing really happening over here. Just to let you know. Here comes now the UK bringing over some better quality cav. Well, these are Lancers, though. So No, sorry. I was looking at these guys. These are the Lancers. Where are they? I swear I'm not just seeing things. Scarlet Lancers. Okay, I was right. They don't look like Lancers, to be honest, though. <laughs> um... This is going to be a massive cab battle. I love this. I love how they're just squaring up. I kind of don't want to see France falling back. Now, if you look over here, it looks like some lights, some voltigeurs, are going to try going against this uh, choke point. They'll have an advantage of range. Now, we did some experiments with some Jaegers from Austria and then some light infantry, some voltigeurs and such from France. And... Uh, I don't know how Spanish lights would have done over here if they had a better range than these uh, French Voltigeurs, but uh, very interesting. Okay, it looks like all of the cav that Spain can put on the field is right over here. A little bit over here, of course. They have to keep some cav to support, but someone is charging. Oh, it looks like Spain was like, oh, what? <laughs> Trying to scout out, and they ran smack dab into uh, some Chasseur Cheval and some Dragoons, and a General, of course. So, oh man, it's just cat and mouse over here. Now, they are keeping some calf here, some Lancers in the forest, because they want to defend this. It almost is a pity that Spain doesn't have a little bit of calf here, guys. This would be perfect if they had a little bit of calf. They could use this road, hit fast, hit these Voltigeurs. Now, I guarantee you, there's probably some line infantry that are going to be pushing up, too. 
if they can just hold, if France can hold this line, they can push up and use this bridge to just get around them. Um, it'd be very interesting to see what their plan is. Still not a whole lot, guys. This is still squaring up. Looks like Spain is going to start pushing up some infantry, some volunteers. One of them can form square. Um, pushing up, seeing if they can get some volleys up. I don't see any cannon in play yet, but these are the targets to go for for artillery on either side. The UK looks like they are going to just send their infantry. Yeah, they're going to send the infantry. All is going to be invested in this two-pointer. Um, the UK is kind of keeping an eye on, uh, you know, uh oh, Chasseur Cheval going, let's see, the UK is paying, yeah, the UK is definitely paying attention, which is a very good, being able to multitask, be on all parts of the battlefield, seeing at the Bedshire Light Dragoons, two of them actually, it looks like France, or uh, no, Spain is trying to sneak through the forest here, I can't tell if, okay, so line infantry are pushing up with some cab, I think they're going to try to see if they can't get some volleys off before the French infantry arrives. If they have some cab that are backing them up, they can counter charge and then let their infantry just shoot the heck out of them. Um, we'll see as these these infantry are getting a lot closer now. Oh, we have some light voltigeurs over here. I think they decided that, that they like to have the skirmishers over here. Maybe they saw something. And it does look like they're sending over, Spain sending over some infantry and cav. Now, if, if France plays right, they can actually sneak right here and just get some volleys off in the one line. Oh, I hear some artillery. Oh, they are going in for a calf charge by France, and oh, they are going to commit. Spain is going to have to fight this, and it looks like France is going to push the initiative they have right here. It looks like a weaker flank for Spain. There's not a whole lot here, and as you can see, lines are going to start shooting as well. Oh my goodness, this is going crazy. Over here, it looks like uh, France is going to push mad, and they are going to take an advantage, maybe sever communications between this small Spanish faction right here. Um, oh, look at this friendly fire here! All right, so they're going to fall back. So it looks like France won a minor victory here, able to push back, route some Spanish cav, and now they're going to have the advantage. I think, I think they're going to go in for a cav charge against these Bedshire lights. Yes, they are, and they are going to probably catch them. These guys are fast, but these are just as fast. And uh, if you see, when you charge someone, some of them are going to stop because like, he's going to sacrifice some of them just to get one of his units away. Unfortunate, but it's kind of a necessary evil. Now, um, over here, it looks like France is going to be forming out through the trees here. <clears throat> Spain has... Oh, look at this. They're just funneling it over here. They know the weak spot for Spain. And they're just going to be pushing on this flank oh look at this this square form they sent in some carabiners i totally butchered that i know which is an excellent you can see they break them if you're in square formation don't let infantry charge you your infantry will get butchered because they cannot fight against infantry very well as you can see clearly right here and that was a good unit for france um one of the few that can form square unfortunately so it looks like um, over here they routed both of the Bedshire Light Dragoons of the UK and now they can push on this flank um, as this is winding to be a fight for the two-pointer. And France has seen what is strong. This is, uh-oh. Oh no. They're going for some lights. However, they're gonna get countercharged, but look at this, they're breaking already and they're gonna get flanked. This is a massively weak side for Spain. They need, to, they need to fix this. I mean, they have some artillery right here that they need to definitely protect, which they have cav to protect it, but these infantry, it's just a mad push. France just sees the, the exploit. They see what needs to be hit, and they just are going to hit it, you know? Um, over here, I think this is more of the Spanish strong side. They have a lot more infantry here. They have the UK. I'm pretty sure I told the picture and picture to go away, but apparently it didn't. That's okay. <laughs> uh, it looks like France is going to be pushing on the side that is the strongest. This is definitely Spain, Spain's weak side, and that's why they're trying to pull it together. Um, they can't fall back too much because they have artillery right here. 
All right, hold on. The sound just decided it was gonna, um, is gonna, there we go. Oh, oh, oh dang it. <laughs> I ruined the video. I ruined it. That's what happens when Kingston messes with stuff. See, oh, at least I get to see now what they uh, did. That's interesting. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a very interesting because I can't get rid of it. Rip. Rip. So, uh, yeah, Kingston ruined it. Don't ever do that in the middle of the game. Because now you can't get rid of it. Oh, that's interesting. That is trippy. All right, well, I apologize for that, but we're going to have this now for the whole battle. Um, it looks like um, <clears throat> this is a mosh pit of melee. France is just sending in so much. They maybe are overcommitting here. It's almost like a blob. This looks like a blob. And uh, Spain is going to take advantage of that by just forming some squares, shooting in. Oh, here goes another French cav charge. And uh, this is going to turn out to be very, very bad. Maybe for Spain. Maybe not. Maybe Spain can pull it together because of the blob. They still have the artillery. Well, maybe maybe uh, the blob kind of pushed forward and uh, took out their artillery a little bit. But now France is moving up on this flank. The UK are pushing on this flank. And this may turn out to be like a... If France can close themselves a little bit too much in this pocket, I wonder. If France... I mean, Spain is pushing back. They're countercharging, hitting these lights as an excellent target to be hitting. They want to get rid of these Voltaires. Now, the cab from France. Oh, look at this. This is just a lot of just units just massing and pushing. Which is good in some... Oh, look, so they, did, so they saved their artillery. This is a very good artillery unit. They're able to save them. They need to hold this line. They have two lines. And that's the thing that... Spain can do. They can form up massive lines. They're trying to go for the artillery again. Getting countercharged. These man, these guys lead a charming life, seriously. These guys lead a charming life. Our general is under attack. Oh, we have a Spanish general who needs to get out of there. Um oh man. There's just too much going on, folks. <laughs> so now the UK is gonna start pushing up. Facing up. Okay, so France does have some men in the trees. It's going to provide some cover for them. Over here, though, it's just a mad push. This is madness. They're countercharging their countercharges. And uh, this is just turning out to be a war of attrition. You know, who's going to win this? I think France did an excellent job of pushing the artillery away from their guns. And now they are just not able to get to their cannon. This is a blob that France, unless someone dropped, this may be because someone dropped. Because this looks kind of blobby. You know? This looks very blobby. It looks like Spain is now going to go in, see what they can do. This is. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> this is crazy. I hear some, oh, so France went in behind, hit some cannon from Spain. Oh, no. That's why, that's why you got to keep cab on this side. They threw them. That's an excellent job by France hitting them in the back. It's going to hit some German legion, maybe, that aren't forming square. I think multitasking elsewhere, unfortunately. <clears throat> and now there is some cannon that France is going to keep pushing forward. This is really, really bad. For Spain, as they're just going to lose all their cannon. This is very worth it for these Chasseurs Cheval. They are just going to destroy all the artillery from this uh, coalition. Over here, it looks like France is actually breaking. This blob did not work out very well for them. And now, uh, France... They have a weak center. A weak center, and Spain is actually pretty strong right here, actually. France is getting pushed back. Spain is pushing up. If they can just hold this side, 
hold this side and just push and exploit this center where France blob like crazy. Now, the trees are going to provide an excellent bonus for the Spanish line infantry. And there's not a whole lot from UK pushing over here. Um, now, this is an exploit, which I would love to see Spain use, but Spain is just doing the same thing that France is. They're just throwing in units. So it looks like the Voltigeurs are going to start skirmishing up these guys. Maybe their artillery is hitting them because they want to get the LOC. Which they are technically pushing. I mean, they're pushing for the LOC over here too. You know. Over here, I do believe the artillery is still here. These guys have le led a charming life. It's just crazy. Now they're going to start punching at the center this blob is just... I, oh, man. This is way more organized. Although Spain is kind of looking disorganized now. They're trying to reform. They may want to pull back a little bit. Um, the UK looks like they're going in for some uh, counter charge against the cab from France. Bayonet charge that square. You can learn. Oh, that looks kind of cool, though. Look at the general and all his men just like holding. Like, hard man! <laughs> so, no one has a clear victory right now. The nice thing about Spain is they have the numbers. They can actually form up two lines, have massive morale, and that's going to help this battle. They are pushing up now on the flank of France, who is breaking like crazy. I see way more French units breaking right now. Oh my goodness, look at this. Here comes some cap charging in against these general, actually. I believe that's a general. Yeah, so this is a very interesting line battle, to say the least. <laughs> to say the least. And I can't tell who's going to win right now. I think that uh, Joseph... Uh, from the French uh, Alliance is going to be able to reform on this center and save. And it looks like uh, France is pulling back here as Spain was able to definitely hold well enough. I think they just want to reform their alliance. This is a mess here. A massive mess. The UK is holding this hill, holding the LOC, it looks like. Um, they're they're going to do better over a long period of time having larger columns like this. I'm not sure why NTW3 does that, but uh, oh, looks like some lights are gonna get charged, but Cav was waiting. The Light Dragoons are gonna counter charge and hopefully save their Light Infantry, because this Light Infantry, let me tell you, they'll do damage. Um, and this line battle over here it looks beautiful. Over here it looks like the awkward stepchild of, of Napoleon battles. <laughs> it's looking a lot better now. I will say that. It is looking a lot better on both sides now that the blobs are gone. Um, artillery over here from France, or from Spain, sorry, is... I don't know what they're doing. But as you see, this faction, you know, has a lot of infantry left. A lot of infantry left, so... Not a whole lot of losses except for, for this one Spanish faction. And actually, France is pushing back a lot. I think they're trying to uh, just sit here and skirmish with their lights. So uh, Spain may want to actually push up, which I think they're actually doing, yeah. They're going to push up and look at this. I want to go back on this in screenshot mode. This looks like an awesome battle for that. Um, they are going to be pushing up as France is, and actually, look at this. Spain is going to be pushing up. They kind of have the advantage, only two line of infantry, and they could do some damage if they pushed over, although artillery looks like it's shelling them. So, that may be a loss still. Um, over here, it looks like a cab charge went in trying to soften the center. Excellent cab charge weakening this center. This is the best exploit for Spain to use at this point. Using some generals to kind of encourage the units to stick to, stick to their guns, you know. Over here, the UK is still kind of fighting... 
it'd be, it's a pity that there's not a cab to sneak around and just hit the back of Our this French line infantry. And it kind of looks like France is winning. Ooh, we got some artillery in an excellent position to do some damage to this line. They're going to start getting some kills. Some beautiful volleys here. And as you can see, this has been a weak point for France this whole time. These cycle charges from Spain are starting to do work. Here they go in for yet another charge. I love how how uh, Spain has seen this and is exploiting the center. It's so weak. An excellent use. Oh, it's a bayonet charge. It looks like it's going in from Spain going against this general. If they can break this, it's going to cause them to waver. It's going to cause a shock morale disadvantage as now they're going to charge the flank of these Voltigeurs. And oh, some cap also going over. There's too much happening all at once. So cap charging right here. Infantry charging right here. Breaking them. This is going to cause this whole center for France to break. I hope they have some reserves because they're going to need them. It looks like Spain is doing an excellent job of punching through right now and actually a counter charge by France. Over here, some cav went in for the guns of the UK, but they got pushed back as the UK has is ever vigilant, ever watchful, has some cav to back up their artillery pieces. This artillery is about to execute their own boys. Um, the UK should maybe pull back to here. Um, cab going in for some lights, and there's just there's just holes in the line everywhere being exploited. As now Spain is charging in through yet another gap in France's line. Oh my goodness, this is just a mess. No one can organize clear lines. It's just constant charging. As Spain now going in for another charge against some some line infantry from Spain and look Spain or sorry France and France was actually pushing up a lot which is bad now they can charge in the back oh bayonet charge over here trying to break some units they're breaking before they even do it it looks like uh, France is pushing massively now on this flank and this line is just a mess everywhere France still has a solid line on this side using the trees to kind of reinforce themselves this artillery is gonna be able to do a massive work though I'm telling you what guys this artillery right here is probably what's really hitting this these guys in this uh, square formation are gonna get toasted yep look at that and now France is just maybe gonna try falling back and reforming they need to pull back with their ally and reform maybe go back to this tree line because Spain has done an excellent job and guys, if you know, if you've ever heard, I say I hate playing as Spain because I just, their morale and the unit stats, it's challenging to play. But I'd say Spain is doing an excellent job of holding their own against one of the strongest armies in NTW3. Look at this. This whole side is just weakening. Spain pushing up here. Is this a general? This is a general fighting against some line infantry and actually winning, shockingly enough. Still would get him out of there. That's not something you want to lose. It looks like um, France is going to try to pull him back. They have some artillery, which Spain is going to go for with some hussars. There's no cab. However, they did see it, and they're going to try running their guys across. Oh, they hit some line infantry, but they're going to, I think, probably fall back. Unfortunately, they weren't able to get to that artillery, but they made them un run away from their guns, which is successful. Now, France is in trouble. The UK is pushing... They actually were managed to take out some artillery. Nope, they did. Now they are going to, as France, unfortunately, couldn't do anything about this. They're going to lose their artillery. The UK is pushing crazy on this flank. I think they actually did a bayonet charge. No, a calf charge with the Royal Irish Dragoon Guard pushing through the forest. And look at this. This French army is starting to break. UK is pushing on that initiative. Spain is pushing on France, and France is starting to fall apart. And guys, I apologize for this weird looking thing. I, the unit cards, I don't... This is why you don't mess with replays. Like Kingston did. Kingston made a mistake. So, uh... Okay, over here, France is getting a break as they are breaking the Spanish line. They went in for some bayonet charges. Rob succession. And now, counter bayonet charge uh, by Spain. Gonna try to break and turn this line. They have... Four units, which is a decent line 
They can have a morale buff, and they have Cav, which is backing them up, so they could turn this flank a little bit, but France has the numbers on this flank. They could still go for the LLC, and it wouldn't matter if they only had this two-point LLC. But the UK is gonna push over here. I think they have decided the LLC is more important. Also, crushing this line, as France is kind of just never been able to catch a break. Calf out of nowhere from the UK and Spain. They probably are gonna lose these uh, Queen's Dragoons. Now, of course, this Spanish line infantry, tenacious as ever, with the UK flanking, is gonna go in. We have some horse artillery from Carl von Ruh. That's a German, King's German Legion. That's an excellent artillery. Oh, they're going in for some artillery. Oh no, they're going in for artillery from uh, France. And they're gonna hit them. They can't run away because they'll run right into the other enemy. Excellent job of exploiting behind the enemy lines and France doesn't have anything to combat this. These guys are crazy, Viral. Look at that, they're still a with it. France is just getting surrounded. Their, their backs are turned. Over here, Spain is trying to hold it together on this flank. Maybe if they can fall back to this LLC, they can hold it together a little bit. Um, over here, just kind of everybody's agreed to just stand down. Um, oh, that's why they're pushing the artillery. Artillery from Spain is going to be starting to punch holes. Look at this, though. This this artillery has led a charming life. I will say that. They are punching holes in this Spanish line. This Spanish line, or sorry, this French line. And this French small line infantry, you can see they're all shaken. They are probably going to break. I think they're trying to get a nice bayonet charge, and they're going to get volleyed at super close range. These guys are probably going to break before they even make it, yeah. And these guys are going to be going in by themselves. They are probably going to break pretty soon after. Yeah. And uh, France is out of the fight for the most part. Spade did an excellent job of holding. And um, it is now going to be up to this French faction, which I must say is doing an excellent job of pushing. Um, they had the advantage. They had the initiative the whole time. And I think they are actually going to be like, you know what, we got to we gotta fight this. Especially since they have the hill now. And technically, Spain actually still has LOC over here and over here. And then they technically have this two-point LOC. So they actually have four points. And France has to be able to push because they would only have one point. They would have to push on all these other two in order to beat um, Spain at this point. So the UK is still pushing. I think they've mostly won against France. France is gone. Excellent push. Even though France had the advantage of the terrain at first, they began to lose. Now, like I said, it could have been that someone dropped, and that could have caused this big mosh pit of troops over here. But France can still pull this off. These are, for the most part, not that damaged of units. If you look, they haven't lost a whole lot. Some of these guys have lost a decent, but most of these guys haven't lost a ton of troops. So this is a mostly fresh army going up against... Well, if UK can hurry up on over here, they're going to go up against three factions. As uh, France is gone over here. And uh, look at this. Actually, it looks like Spain managed to save a little bit. And they're going to be able to, be able to kind of uh, push on the flank of France. Like I said... Spain does have the terrain advantage. If you see, the hill is in their favor. The friendly fire is strong with this uh, unit. <laughs> and um, I'm kind of curious what this French player, this Grand Armée, is going to do. Okay, so France is still hanging on a little bit over here. Not a ton. But they are hanging on a little... Eh, well, they're shaken. They're exhausted. These guys are probably going to break after just, like, one volley. Beautiful, though. I'll promise you this, guys. I'm going to do a screenshot mode. The thumbnail is going to be epic. Actually, I'm going to need a bunch of screenshots, probably, of this. So this just looks like an awesome battle tip for that. 
So, so Spain has not been knocked out of this fight. They are pushing up, going to push it on the back of this Grand Armée who is going to be attacking. They have to attack, like I said. That's their only option at this point. And this battle's only 35 minutes long so far. So I'm going to fast forward just a little bit. Let's see if we can't get them forming up again. Now... Yeah, this battle is mostly over, I believe. Okay, so we have some skirmishers I see starting to shoot. Oh, look at this. So we have a flanking force, some four units. We have some sappers, some legion, and uh, a general with the grenadiers walking over. Imagine walking over all the dead and dying and wounded. You know? <laughs> They're just walking over a mass of dead soldiers. So it looks like over here some lights. The grasshoppers. And it's a light company. Oh these guys oh man. They are gonna they just cause of how small of a unit this is, they take a couple casualties and they will run. There's no cab for France. That is the only downside. They have no cab in artillery, horse artillery from the UK is gonna start I don't know. Fire. You can fire. It's okay. They're shy now that I'm watching. Alright, they're going to start punching holes in this French line. Allies have captured this building. So yeah, they have, they're holding this building. And this is going to mean that uh, this line infantry from France is probably not going to be able to take it. Although, this is a artillery? Yeah, this is artillery general, guys. So they actually probably can't take it. Although they have more units showing up. Anyway, who cares about that, right? We want to see this last final battle. As France is going to try to do two fronts. The UK is going to form to meet their flank. And uh, Spain actually is going to have a challenge here. Spain is going to have a challenge because what is this? Look what came out of the woodwork. France came back. They are going to surround the small UK force. Oh my goodness, this is huge. They're sending a general to hit this artillery. Oh my goodness, France may pull this off, guys. They may pull this off. They came out of nowhere. They came back. This is now... He, oh, the map, biggest comeback that France could have. I thought France was going to lose. And now uh, these infantry could totally push. Excuse me. These infantry could totally push on this cannon. And there's a French artillery still here. This is... They are not out of this battle yet. If France is just a little patient to let this army deal with this small, isolated UK unit, then that's huge. Now, they did were successful in forcing this artillery to not be able to move, guys. This 9-pounder nine, nine is stuck here. They are stuck. Um, they can't ever move, so if France wants, they can just move away. They are going to destroy this small UK unit. And, uh, oh man, I did not see that coming. Uh-oh. They are just gonna slaughter these guys. Oh, that is so unfortunate for, uh, the UK alliance. And these f Spanish troops are not doing the greatest. <laughs> They've been fighting, they're shaking. They do have reinforcements coming up to help out, but they have to destroy this army if they ever hope to win. And there's still scattered pockets of fighting everywhere. And it looks like actually France is okay with just waiting a little bit. Although they could probably push on Spain and win. I just never saw France having this many troops. Still. And they broke this whole UK unit, and they are going to be able to push up with a stronger force than what the UK has. 
And at this point, these six units have to hold until Spain and the rest of the UK deal with this French unit. These these uh, Spanish troops need to push on the flank of France. This is the only way they're going to win. Look at these guys. They're shaken. <laughs> and look, there's another small French army. There's just, there's like so many separate conflicts. There's one, two, three, four. Whew. This is getting intense, and I thought it was about to be over. And here's some cav. So the UK has decided that they have to push. Yeah, they have to push. They have to stop France. And they're in column formation. If Maybe the UK could fall back to their guns, you know, force these guys to attack them at their guns. This is an interesting formation. I know that the morale is buffed exponentially more when you have them in a heavier, thick formation versus the line. But uh, it looks like actually Spain was able to deal with these reinforcing units of uh, France that came back, and now they're going to be able to help push. And see, France, they have the advantage right now. They need to push. This is a smaller line. They have better quality troops. They need to push. They have units coming in behind them. They need to push. They're getting shelled into oblivion by this whole flank. They just, yeah, okay, they're going to push. Excellent. And these guys need to push at the same time. So they can still pull this around if they, if they play their cards right, which kind of also depends on these French troops breaking this UK unit. I got some light infantry from uh, a Spanish Light Infantry UK unit. Excellent. It's still anyone's game, folks. Uh, Spain is kind of using this as an exploit to kind of make them turn so that they can push this flank. And uh, France has decided it's do or die. And it is gonna be a do right now. They're not dying yet. They're going to push up, push on Spain. And if you see here, this UK uh, artillery is trying to take out these 8-pounders, but there's infantry guarding it, so that's going to be kind of a challenge for them. Um, thankfully, they have reinforcements now who are going to come up, but look at this. Spain is going to be hurting. They are going to be hurting. And... Uh, Still anyone's anyone's game over here. This this artillery isn't even firing because of the hill. So they're gonna start shooting. Oof. Come on, come on, Spain. I believe in you, Spain. You can do it. Is this just a general sitting right here? Uh oh. Oh my goodness. They got a general kill. That is a massive disadvantage now for France. They're gonna be fighting an uphill battle. Still just the battle back and forth over here, over the hair. And now these guys are gonna be concerned. They lost a ton of morale when their general died. And the UK are now gonna be pushing up on the flank. Oh, these Spanish, these Spanish artillery are back. These guys have survived way too much. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. They're going to be shooting in the back. And uh, it's starting to look like Spain is losing, or France is losing the initiative over here. These guys are going to start breaking the artillery from this horse artillery and from Spain over here and from another UK artillery. Oh, looks like the Spanish Hussars went in for a cav charge. Breaking some French units, although they came back, so that's good. France can still take this, but their ally now is in massive trouble. They have artillery shelling the heck out of them. And they do have an artillery piece over here, but it's so far away. It has a terrible angle. It's going to do more damage than good, almost. 
and it looks like France is breaking in the center. If these guys are, they're active, so if they're fresh, I'd say do a bayonet charge in the center with your reserves, but they are winning this volley line battle, so might as well just keep it up. Over here, it would appear that the UK are going in for a bayonet charge, and even with the general here, they probably are going to lose. So this is going to turn out to be probably a Spanish-UK victory. They really almost had it, guys. They almost had it. It was well played. They came back. They tried. They just couldn't. They probably had just these men are probably so exhausted. This is going to cause the rest of this line to break. Over here, it looks like they went in for a bayonet charge, a last-ditch effort. And now the UK are going to circle around and seal their fate. And it looks like, yep, they're going to seal their fate. These guys are going to run. It's going to be massive breakage as just the morale shock of men breaking constantly on both sides at around the same time. The artillery play was epic. And France came back from what almost looked like a defeat. They pulled it together at the last minute. So well done on their part, pulling it together at the last minute. That was almost really, really bad for them. They were about to get surrounded by it looked like the uh, Spanish or the French look like the French just came out of nowhere and we're about to pull it together. And so now it's kind of just I'm gonna fast forward because um, it looks like France is mostly a lost. Um, they're gonna start breaking pretty soon here. France is trying to hold it together over here, man. They're just not wanting to give up. Um. Yeah, like I said, we're just going to fast forward. I'm not sure why this thing popped up. Obviously, it's because I tampered with it. That's okay. Still an awesome battle. Now you can see the unit comps, you know? And you can actually see the unit comps. Um, so, yeah. Well played. Like I said, this was sent in by the Nate Devourer um, on the Lord's Discord for Napoleon Total War 3. And it was a, a very, very awesome battle. I know that the units got very close when it came to kills. Artillery is now focusing on the sappers. France, I guess, is just trying to rack up the kills at this point. Um, that's all they have left. Let's we'll fast forward so that this is this gets over with sooner. <laughs> and you can see this UK faction has a lot of troops left, actually. The morale was strong with this U faction. Yeah, at this point it's just who can how many kills can you get before you uh, die? <laughs> it was an excellent position. Was able to uh, push on one side. Not both, though. And what they need right now is some cav. There we go. There's a Spanish cav. And like I said, guys, the Spanish players were definitely knew how to play Spain. Um, because I guarantee you I would lose terribly against Spain because Spain is just such a terrible faction for me to play. I mean, they just the morale is terrible. I can't play Prussia, and I can't play Spain. It's just... The cab is awful, and so on and so forth. All right, so I, I hope that they're just going to go for a bayonet charge, and there's no way that they can win. <laughs> but they are breaking some units. That's crazy. Oh, there we go. Cab charge going in, destroying the artillery. That's going to cause them to break. Our men are running, sir. And um, now bayonet charge going in. On these guys forming square. And bada bing bada boom, it's over. Alright, so as you see, it was sent in by Nate, the Nate Devourer. There's a lot of good kills on each side, actually. 15, 15, 16, 16, um, 7, and 8, 8, and uh, actually, France got a lot more kills. Um, they lost. 
not as much. But then again, Spain does bring a ton of infantry, so you can get a lot more kills and still lose against Spain. Uh, like I said, thank you for Nate DeBauer for posting it in the replays. Um, if you enjoy this video, leave a like or comment. And um, if you're not subscribed and you would love to see more of my content versus waiting for me to post it, you can get like the notification when I post my video directly from my channel if you're subscribed. I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers by uh, next Monday. And at that point, I'm going to be giving away a free game, which will be Napoleon Total War 3. So if you don't have it, or if you have a friend that doesn't have it, and you want to be able to have them or you join in the fun, you know, it's a good way to uh, get it for free, you know. So uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will catch you all in another video.